In modern times, scientists desperately attempt to recreate this phenomenon. Some use fly ash from power plants, others try chemical mixtures mimicking the original composition. But all attempts fail spectacularly, because the secret lies not just in ingredients, but in those unique geological conditions that produced this red ash, and in the Romans' unparalleled mastery of material collection and mixing. Today, while our modern structures corrode after mere decades, Roman monuments stand tall, telling the story of that red ash transformed by human genius into an eternal material. This is no mere tale of ancient building materials, but a civilizational legacy reminding us that greatest discoveries may come from deep understanding of natural materials and from patience in studying their interactions through time. In the Iui, heart of the Roman Empire, when Rome was the mistress of the ancient world, the genius of Roman engineers and architects shown in their invention of building materials unknown to the world before. Rome was not merely a city of stones and temples. It was a living laboratory for experimentation and innovation, where necessity met ambition to construct buildings that defied time and stood tall for centuries after the fall of its civilization. In those days, the Romans faced the challenges of large-scale construction, as the bustling capital needed aqueducts, bridges, public squares, temples, palaces, and walls, all requiring building materials that were strong, flexible, and capable of withstanding the forces of nature, and the why. Passage of time. Amid these challenges, a new material emerged that would forever change the face of architecture. 